is disgusting. Why does this medicine taste so disgusting? Uh, why can't somebody change this medicine? It's so disgusting. I still was refusing to take the medicine because I didn't like the taste of it. So I'd have to like mix it in drinks and my mum was like forcing, like trying to make me drink it in any way possible because I kind of needed to get better. It's a struggle for my child to take medicines anyway. If there were better tasting medicines, it would be a load off my mind. So my boys have both had trouble taking Calpol. Um, it's better now that we've got those tablets that can dissolve in the mouth. We really need to involve parents and get them on board with what we're doing and why we're doing it so that they can support us in giving their children the medicine they need. For children that have to take medicine, sometimes it's colour that they don't like, sometimes it's taste they don't like. Sticker charts are brilliant because it gives a reward for children who don't want to take things. But also we need to look at how they cope with taking their medicines. So going along and having a chat and explaining why they need to take their medicines and the benefits is always important. This is my sister Phoebe. I'm Phoebe. So this is Phoebe and today I'm going to ask her a couple of questions about medicine. Is that okay Phoebe? Okay. So, first I'm going to give you a couple of fruits in front of you and you're going to say yes, no, or maybe, okay? Um, banana. No. No, you don't want a banana medicine. Yeah. Oh, apple. No. <laughs> Plum. Plum. <laughs> Actually, I want, I want plum. So you want plum medicine, yeah? Yeah. Orange. No. No. Pear, this is my last one. Do you like a sausage filled with medicine? Uh, maybe. Uh, I do like sausages. Uh, I love sausages. And I love medicine, so if you put them together, boom! So why, what is it about liquids that you hate? I just don't like the taste and I find they're longer to take, so like I'm on that much medication that if I tried to get everything in liquid I'd be there for about half an hour. Whereas with a the tablet, they're just down straight away and it's much easier and there's no taste. The ACCEPT study is designed to understand patient reported outcomes so we can identify which medicines are acceptable to children. We are comparing their assessment of acceptability to researcher observations with the hope to identify which existing oral liquid medicines are acceptable and which aren't. This study will also identify which methods to use going forwards. So far the data is looking very promising. There is a good relationship between patient reported outcomes and researcher observations, which bodes well for the future. Do you think it's important to involve children in research? I think it is, because at the end of the day, although the parents are going to be going through a lot of emotional like, trauma, it's going to mainly be the child who's going to have them, like, who's going to be affected the most by it, so I think they're, at the end of the day, their opinion is the most important. Okay. As a formulation scientist, we make lots of different medicines for children. These include tablets, chewable tablets, tablets that melt in the mouth, liquids or even sprinkles. One of the projects we're doing at the moment that's joint with industry is looking at sprinkles. Here are some. They look like really mini tablets that can be sprinkled on food or taken as they are. The results from our ACCEPT study give us the tools we need to measure whether children will find these acceptable in the future. It's really important that we develop something that's fit for purpose for these children because we really need them to be able to take their medicines. <laughs>